All right, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate your drawing tools, which are these blue tools here. So first one is your mouse, so your selection tool, so this is pretty simple. Um, underneath the selection tool, you have quite a few other selection tools, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. You have your pen tool or your path tool, and again, underneath the path tool, you have quite a few other drawing tools. Then you have your shape tool, and underneath this little arrow, you have multiple shapes to pick from, and then lastly, you have your text tool. So the text tool is pretty straightforward. You go ahead and drag a box, and you have your text. I'll get into how to edit your text in more detail in a later video. Your shape tool is very straightforward here, so you can go ahead and draw a shape. Again, there's multiple shapes to pick from. Um, you can go ahead and just pick and kind of draw, including a line, too, uh, if you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to draw a star. Why not? Okay. Your path tool um, is how to actually go ahead and draw curves here. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the more details of the path tool about how to trace images in a later video. And then your... Um, and then underneath the path tool, again, you have freehand if you want to go ahead and draw freehand or something like that, which isn't incredibly useful. And then underneath your pointer tool, again, there's different ones. So I want to demonstrate this first select tool here, the filled in select tool. Um, that is your select everything. So for example, if I were to click on this freehand path that I drew, it's selecting the entire path. The sub select tool, which is the open arrow, allows you to click on just a specific point of the path. So for example, I can grab just this one corner. Same thing for, say, this rectangle. The closed pointer will select the entire rectangle. Let's move or change the size of the whole rectangle together. Okay. The open select tool allows me to grab just an individual corner of the rectangle or just one individual point and allows me to do more detail uh, of the rectangle. Then you have your lasso tool, which is kind of like to select uh, more than one object at a time. And you have your layer and slice tool, which I'll get into in a later video as well.